What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. We have one of the wildest stories coming out about a 90 day fia uh, fiance cast member in quite a long time. Season two of the show features a man named Armando and when he was introducing himself to us, he gave us a little bit of a backstory about how he became a single father. And the backstory was that one day he came out to his wife and his wife was obviously devastated. She called his mother to come down so that he can come out to her as well. And then when he did, um, everything kind of imploded and, um, you know, they wound up separating. And then he also said that shortly after their separation, his wife got into a car accident and passed away after uh, flipping over in her car a couple of times. Um, just to back things up, he said that that was about two or three months after their separation. And so, um, you know, I kind of, I saw it and I was like, that is really sad. And it's, you know, very coincidental that it happened right after they separated. Separated, but I never thought anything suspicious about it. But the universe is full of people who just love doing their extreme background checks on these people. I think there were a few conspiracy theorists who suspected some kind of foul play or something like that, but they did wind up digging for information. And of course, when you dig for information, you will always find some kind of information. And um, this story is coming from starcasm.net. They uh, reported on fans finding a Mexican website with a little bit more details about what happened between Armando and his wife the night of her passing. And um, it, you know, it is quite dark, I have to say. It's quite surprising, it's quite dark, and um, you know, my heart truly did drop when I read the details. On the show, Armando said that he and his wife were best friends at the time of, his, of her passing, and that's why it was so devastating to him. But um, the Mexican website said that uh, the two of them were in the middle of a dispute when she crashed and died, and according to them, she was seven months pregnant at the time as well, meaning that she was four or five months pregnant when Armando decided to come out and tell her that he was gay, which, you know, very understandably is devastating and it's an incredible amount of stress to put on a pregnant woman but that um, is just a little bit of a backstory about her state at the time and uh, here's an excerpt uh, confirming his presence at the scene of the crash and a quote according to the report of the authorities the responsible vehicle is a white 2004 Taurus model from Bella California driven by the now deceased Laura Juarez Meza 29 years old residing in Hava Island of the Los Acros neighborhood. The other participating vehicle is a 2004 Chevrolet pickup from California, United States, which was driven by 27 year old Armando Zavala residing, you know, uh, wherever it is that he resides currently. I don't want to say out loud because I assume he still does have some family living there because that is the business compound that he talked about on the show. So but I will say that the report does support his claim that they were separated at the time of the claim because he is listed as residing in a different neighborhood. Um, the report also says that uh, Armando claimed to have tried to meet his ex in a public space to avoid confrontation, but she had an outburst. So he hopped into his truck to kind of, you know, get away from the situation um, so that it wouldn't continue to escalate, but that she allegedly followed him onto the highway and started crashing into him until she eventually lost control of her car and knocked out a power line and in the process of doing so uh split her car in half which is just so oh my god to think about i can't imagine um the amount of shock and pain that she was in at the time of the crash the article also claims that Armando's daughter was placed in the orphanage as a result of Laura passing away, but um, Armando never mentioned that in his actual recounting of the story. But then again, he also didn't mention that his wife was heavily pregnant at the time. So maybe those are just some details he would have preferred to leave out. I don't know, but I did find it quite uh, quite uh, surprising, to be honest, because he was, he was still well and alive, but maybe he was under criminal investigation at the time and unable to care for his daughter as a result of that, but you would also wonder why she would not have been placed in the care of either his or her relatives rather than at the orphanage, right? 90 Day Fiance fans started hounding Armando for more information about this crash when they found the article online to the point where he had to come out and address it head on, which I do feel bad for him on that part. So this was his message to everybody who was wondering what went down that fateful night. And I quote, this message is to clear up my daughter's mother's passing. I'm addressing this to clear up any confusion as I did not want to go into specifics on the show, but now I find it necessary. 
My then wife and I had been separated for a few months before her passing for a number of reasons, one of which was anger issues she was working on. During our separation, we were working on rebuilding our friendship again. During the divorce proceedings and on the evening of her passing, a disagreement took place over finances and I thought it would be best to leave the situation and return back to my home. After that, 15 to 20 minutes later, I was driving down the highway and I was shocked when I was suddenly struck from behind and then was hit again. As I continued down the highway, I then realized it was my ex-wife and before I knew it, she was lost control of her vehicle and passed away on the scene. As you can understand, this was a very tragic event in the life of my daughter and I as we lost her and an unborn baby. This was a very difficult moment for everyone involved, myself, our family, our friends, um, and it has been a long grieving process and out of respect for my daughter's mother and her memory, I ask for your empathy and understanding on this personal tragedy. Thank you. So what do you think about Armando's statement on the entire situation? I personally don't, I don't know, like I feel like a pregnant woman for someone pregnant, like seven months pregnant, to do something like that, the dispute probably had to be about something a little bit bigger than money in my opinion like it's so hard to take this statement at face value and i'm not saying that armando did anything to her or anything like that at all but i'm just thinking that their argument probably had to be about something a lot bigger than money for her to allegedly risk her life and her child's life as well if this version of events is even true remember we're only getting one side of the story because the other party has unfortunately passed away right so i don't know like the whole story is just so hard to wrap my mind around like i really do feel sorry for everybody involved here and um i can't even imagine what they've been going through as a family as a result of this tragedy and armando is so brave to be going on television to share this story knowing that people who watch reality television really truly love to dig up as much dirt and information as possible about the stars of these shows and of course this was going to come out and unfortunately probably um, re-traumatize the family, the daughter, and everybody else as well. So my heart definitely does go out to them. Um, but yeah, I, guys, I'm so curious what you think about this whole entire situation. Are you shocked to hear the real details, um, you know, from the police report anyway, come out about this crash? Let me know all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. And as usual, we'll chat. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.